In this video, I'm going to be talking about what did I learn overall about the soundscape task. Now, when this task got first announced, I thought, I'm not going to learn anything. Well, not learn anything, but I'm not going to hear anything new uh, where I live. Because I live in a small seaside town called Seaton, which is uh, very quiet all the time. Um, and obviously, no one's going to really go out. Like, I'm not going to hear anyone have conversations with people during a pandemic, really. You know, because people either are going to be going to the essential shops. Like, say, for example, we have a Tesco where I live. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, maybe a couple of people by the beach. And that's where I sort of did my um, whole task near. I did it near, like, um, a roundabout uh, and a bus station and where some people go for walks. Just so I could get, like, that was the best place near me. It was a quick, like, five-minute walk where I could get every, like, I can get different sounds from... Um, a variety of different things um and to a certain degree yeah i got that but then it just kind of became the same old same old thing over and over again um and but initially i was like yeah i'm not gonna learn anything but then we um before i had to go and do a soundscape task uh we did a soundscape task in our bedrooms where we just had to sit in silence and listen um to things that we wouldn't normally hear as we're normally as we're distracted by our phones or work. Um, and actually, I could hear the next door neighbours and some birds chirping. And it was actually like, I was actually quite getting excited. I was like, I might find something new in like the place that I live in, actually. I might find something interesting, something that I don't know. But um, unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, I got too excited in a way, thinking that I was going to find something new and exciting to write about on my website. But... I didn't, and, um, but by doing, by, because what I did was, was that I kind of sort of like a safety plan, sort of like a backup thing, I thought, if I'm not, if I don't learn anything new, I must make this whole, um, task as interesting as possible to my assessor and my teachers, uh, so that's what, um, led me to do, um, all the editing sort of stuff side of things. So what I actually learned overall was um, from this task was that always have a backup plan just in case it doesn't go the way that you think it does. Um, and yeah, so I know I went overall like different tangents about things throughout this video. Uh, hopefully, you know, you, um, you guys actually learned my thought process through this video. And yeah, thanks for watching.